We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Bomb. Oh shit. Wow, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. I'm so frustrated. Ex WBC champion of the world blames his costume, says his costume left him on dead legs and messed up his mobility. We got to talk about this. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash app, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below. Use my link. It does help the channel. When you guys utilize that link, you can now bundle ESPN Plus. Great service. I have it. And you can get it with Hulu and Disney Plus. All three apps for one price of $12.99 a month. And it does help the channel continue to grow and give you guys that heat. You like it what you see. We got that heat. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. I told you. All year. Mamba mentality. But they did the Kobe farewell. Now, let's talk about it. Kevin Ioli, let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. He has spoken with Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, ex WBC champion. He had interesting comments about his loss with Yahoo Sports. Let's click on the link. The link is in the description of my video, you know, to pay attribution. It says Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder says 40 pound costume left his legs dead in a seven round TKO loss to Tyson Fury. <laughs> Las Vegas. Deontay Wilder wanted to make his ring walk prior to his fight with Tyson Fury on Saturday special. And he wore a 40 pound costume as a tribute to Black History Month. But Wilder says the costume was too heavy and was the reason that he didn't have his legs under him in his seventh round TKO loss to Fury. He said he will go to Africa at the end of March on vacation and plans to exercise his rematch clause for a third fight with Fury. He said he'll go back to boxing once he gets back from Africa. Africa. Wilder also said he is upset with assistant trainer Mark Breland throwing in the towel to stop the fight and suggested that Breland will no longer be part of the team on fight night. Oh, wow. He said he was displeased with the work of referee Kenny Bayless, who took a point from Fury in the fifth round and went out of his way to congratulate Fury on his performance. I don't... Oh, Wilder got some complaints. I, I didn't see the over-congratulation. Like, I think people were just like, wow, Tyson Fury did that. But this is just Deontay Wilder's thoughts, and then I'll give you mine. Wilder was knocked down in the third round of the heavyweight title fight by a straight right hand. Then again in the fifth with the left hook to the body, his balance seemed off so much of the fight that he slipped several times and went down two times in addition to the official knockdowns. He said he wasn't hurt by the punches and wanted the chance to continue. As Yahoo Sports reported on Sunday, he did not suffer a concussion, a broken eardrum, or a broken jaw. He said the only physical injury he had was a two-centimeter cut that was disclosed that was closed with seven stitches kevin ioli tweeted just got some information wilder did not have a broken jaw as some have speculated nor did he have a broken eardrum he had a two centimeter cut in his ear it took seven stitches to close wilder said the reason he went with the outfit he did was to create a memorable night of entertainment for the fans but it backfired on him wilder says quote he didn't hurt me at all, but the simple fact that uniform was way too heavy, Wilder told Yahoo Sports by telephone. I didn't have no legs from the beginning of the fight. In the third round, my legs were just shot all the way through. But I'm a warrior and people know that I'm a warrior. It could be easily, it could easily be told that I didn't have legs or anything. A lot of people were telling me it looked like something was wrong with you. Something was, but 
when you're in the ring, you have to bluff a lot of things. I tried my best to do it, so I knew I didn't have the legs because of my uniform. I was also only able to put it on for the first time the night before, but I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy. It weighed 40 pounds, 40 some pounds with the helmet and all the batteries. I wanted my tribute to, to be great for Black History Month. I wanted it to be good. And I guess I put that before anything. Wilder said he's upset at his trainer throwing in the towel. Wilder was unhappy that Breland stopped the fight. His head trainer, JD's, has criticized Bre Breland also at the post fight press conference, which Wilder did not attend for throwing the towel. Wilder said he has spoken to members of his team before and said he never wanted them to stop a fight. And actually, I remember like all access or something, and he, he did say that. Wilder has frequently said in the past he wants a body on his record, and he said he'd emphasized that to his team, including Breland, many times they were to never stop about. He said he, he still loved Breland, but that he wouldn't be part of his team going forward. I am upset with Mark for the simple fact that I we've talked about this many times, and it's not emotional, Wilder said. It is, it is not an emotional thing. It's a principle thing. We've talked about this situation many, many years before this ever happened. I said as a warrior, as a champion, as a leader, as a ruler, I want to go out on my shield. If I'm talking about going in and killing a man, I respect the same way. I abide by the same principles of receiving. So I told my team to never, ever, no matter what it may look like, to never throw the towel in with me because I'm kind of special. I still have five rounds left. No matter what it looked like, I was still in the fight. Damn. When Yahoo Sports said Breland was looking out for his best interest, Wilder said he got that, but it didn't matter. I understand he was looking out for me and trying to do what he felt was right, but this is my life and my career, and he has to accept my wishes. Wilder also went in on Kenny Bayless. Who, who long has been considered among the elite referees in the game. He said Bayless had told him before the fight in the locker room that he could be disqualified for a number of different violations, many of which he said Fury wound up doing. Bayless took a point from Fury in the fifth round, but that did not placate Wilder, who was well behind at that point. The referee told me specifically if I hit in the back of the head or hit him on the break, he disqualified me, Wilder said. But I guess... That was only directed to me because he allowed Fury to do those things. That's the one thing that bothered me of everything. Wilder, though, made a specific point to praise Fury. He says he does respect Fury tremendously, looks forward to fighting him again, and that Fury deserved recognition for a brilliant performance. He said, I'm super happy for Tyson Fury. I really want to give him my complete congratulations, Wilder said. He had a lot of great accomplishments in his career, and this is right there with all of them. I'm very excited about his career and what he has done. He deserves a lot of credit. Wow. Man, this is this is a lot. This is a lot going on right now. Um He's talking about the suit. The suit was raw, but it did look like some Hollywood, you know, some Hollywood type of movie thing. He's saying it's too heavy. Um my thoughts i don't have too many thoughts because i didn't wear the suit you know i don't know how it felt and my thing is me personally i probably wouldn't have brought up the suit as you know people are just going to look at it as an excuse and when pacquiao said his shoulder and all that see when people lose they're looking to find the cause you know that's natural you know nobody likes to rejection or losing and stuff like that so they're looking for it so you know I, I I prefer when fighters just, you know, if that's what it was, then, you know, going forward and then just prepare for the second time. So when 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 fighters make like excuses or, or say, oh, what it was and stuff, I feel like the fighter could just learn from it. What I don't want to see from the fighter is, you know, you're so, you know, angered about the situation and you're just trying to make it make sense so you're just trying to spot the blame because this article wilder picked out a lot of stuff he didn't like he did congratulate fury but he said mark Breland, we talked about this kenny bayless did this and 
Wilder also said his legs from the suit. So I personally probably wouldn't have done that, you know, because it doesn't change the outcome. Fury won. He has your belt. You got to try to get it back. I think Wilder should, you know, use this time, spend time with his family and stuff. And if he only he knows how he felt in that suit, the suit, you know, it could have added weight, you know, because I remember Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mr. Freeze. I remember reading about this. This is a Hollywood movie, obviously. When Arnold's when Arnold Schwarzenegger look, it's the same thing. Arnold Schwarzenegger was in the Batman or yeah, what are you doing? Hey, hey Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Bro, it says the Mr. Free suit weighs at least 40 pounds, and so did my polar bear lunging robe. You see what I'm saying? So Schwarzenegger says he's been dropping hints that to Jules Schumacher for years that he wanted to work with and it finally sunk in. But he said the same thing. So I believe Wilder, you know, it probably is true. That shit was probably heavy. Like, cause look, similar type of, you know, build. They, they wanted to look cool and all this. That adds weight. Bro, trust me. I know because when I travel to these fights, right? Look, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze costume almost killed him. So it, it, it's possible, but like I said, it doesn't change anything. So me personally, I probably wouldn't have said that. But Arnold said the same thing, and he's a bodybuilder. You know, it was years later after Mr. Olympia. But that's that's one thing. I think Wilder should just, you know, if, if you know what it is, then just take the time off, exercise the rematch clause like he sounds like he's doing, and that. I just, I, I hope Wilder is being truthful with himself. That's my only thing. I hope he's being truthful for himself. It, like, he, he he might be have a point. I don't know. Because, truth be told, every time he kept getting dropped, he didn't look like, like, he just looked discouraged. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, this is really happening? See, look at him. Like, he don't look like, he just looks like almost in disbelief that he, he can't, you know, barely stand. Now, um, let's talk about Mark Breland. You know, me personally, I don't know. This is this is the warrior way that Wilder has, um, you know, outlined to his team. So <laughs> I didn't see a problem with the stoppage. I, I think I think Wilder would have preferred the stoppage from the ref. So if he disclosed that to his people, I guess they would have no choice but to respect it. But it didn't look like he was getting any better because Tyson Fury is almost 300 pounds. Wilder just wants to go out the wild, the the um the warrior way so that that's that's really a touchy subject you know because well we definitely don't need to lose a big profile fight this would be the you know some crazy shit we don't want to see anyone lose their life you know like maxim dedeshev and patrick day because they're still trying to fight i mean fighters will fight so that's that's kind of that gray area he, he, I feel both sides of this. You know, from Wilder's perspective, he's like, I'm a, I got the equalizer. This is what JD's and Wilder are saying. They're like, yo, I got this equalizer. At any given moment, I could knock somebody out. So if my legs came back to me, what if? You know, and that's always going to haunt Wilder until he does this third fight. You know, so I think that's what he's looking at it like. Like, don't do me like that. Now I got a stoppage record on my record. But. Mark Breland, you know, he's looking at it from emotional. Like, I don't want to see my man take these punches. So, I don't know. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section because I, I really don't. I'm kind of emotionless in, in this situation because it's, I could understand both sides. I really do, you know, because I, I know I'm a person that means what I say and I believe what I say. So, if there were, like, dedicated conversations to this, then I, you know, I feel wilder. I would be like, bro, we already went over this. You know the drill. Like, we talked about what should and shouldn't happen. So you didn't respect my wishes. So Wilder's looking at it as a, a term of betrayal. But I, I don't think, that I will say this, and then Mark Breland's looking at it like, yo, this is my man's. I'm a former fighter. It's looking real bad for Wilder. And he's in there with this big-ass dude who smelled blood. So we got to just end it. But, you know, that's that's just kind of what it is. It didn't look like he was getting better for Wilder, and I don't know if he ever would have got his legs back, you know, because Tyson Fury was leaning on him and doing everything right to to zap him of energy even more, you know, rough, you know, real rough, you know, mugging, smothering, smoldering type of fight. So, you know, that's <clears throat> excuse me, that's a definite gray area. 
so I don't think there's a right or wrong. The right for me is this. I don't think anybody other than Wilder, maybe, because this is their pact or whatever they decided, nobody in boxing, like fans and stuff, should really be overly criticizing Mark Breland and saying he's a bad trainer. You know, it's just fighters want to fight. That's just what it is. These guys are willing. They're warriors. They're willing to die and stuff like that. So it's, it's kind of, to me, it's above my pay grade. I can't tell Wilder how not to feel depending on what his group has discussed, you know. But, <clears throat> you know, that's why they say fathers shouldn't train sons and, and stuff like that because when it gets to these, you know, particular situations, you know, you don't want to make an emotional decision. And that's what it sounds like Wilder believes Mark Breland made an emotional decision. Now, last thing I want to say real quick is I told you, Wilder, he's a warrior. He's not. I knew he was going to exercise the rematch clause. People were saying, oh, I don't want to see the third fight. Well, too bad. It looks like it's happening. And I, I figured this would be the case. Wilder is not going to... He had the belt for 10 fights. He's not going to want to let it get away like that. Despite Andre Ward or any fan or anybody telling him not to do it. You know, fighters are stubborn. Fighters are bullheaded. And the same could be said. So I could say all day, oh, Wilder, you, you take a tune-up. You know, I told that. I said that same thing to Joshua. Anthony Joshua did not listen. Anthony Joshua did what Anthony Joshua was going to do. And he got his belts back. He, You know, however he could do it, he, he dialed in. And he got his belts back from Andy Ruiz just December. So it looks like we're getting another one, which is why... Eddie Hearn doing all these interviews and saying, oh, we want Tyson Fury and and AJ undisputed. This is so big. That's why I didn't buy any of that because these guys are, they still got contracted. Now, obviously, Wilder ain't finna wear no elaborate suit like that. He, you know, he might just come out with the mask. And, you know, it, it, it's interesting. I mean, with him saying this, the, the third fight is definitely interesting. You know, people, you know, Pacquiao said his shoulder hurt whether you believe it or not so you would watch another Mayweather fight oh Pacquiao with two good arms Wilder is, is now throwing out this um, patsy or excuse or whatever about the suit and saying I had no legs I had dead legs shot legs from the beginning you know so people are going to watch it so they're going to get more money we'll see how it plays out but I will say you know he and he covered this in the in his interview with uh, this is a great interview by the way but he covered it. He said, people were like, what's wrong with him? Like, it did. It, it seemed like something was wrong with him. Like, I told you, he was like squinting his eye. I don't know if them lights bothered his eye. It just, that, it's the perfect recipe for disaster. You know, when one thing goes, it was like Murphy's Law, you know? One thing goes wrong. It looked like he the LED lights, he might have did too much, you know? He might have, like... I'm not saying it's any one thing. It's a combination, you know? So I'm not saying, oh, it's just the suit. But if you add the suit weight with nerves, then that's already a recipe for disaster because nerves will make you, you know, burn energy. Wilder was also in his locker room pacing. That could have been burning energy. So you already were, you know, nervous, possibly. Big ass fight. You pacing back and forth, back and forth, you know? You did a lot of walking, and then you walk out with this suit. Then Tyson Fury has an excellent game plan, and he comes in heavy, and he's doing the right things, inside fight work, body shot, you know, ripping uppercuts, leaning on you, grinding on you, sawing you down, you know, with added weight. You know, it just could be the recipe for disaster. Plus, Wilder jumped up and weighed more than he typically weighed, you know, so he had to carry extra weight. It just sounded like Wilder was, you know, in hindsight, I actually picked him to win, but it was destined to lose this fight. It was just too, see, that's, that's exactly like I watched a show about, and I see, I don't want, my brain is just different, but I watched a show about like accidents and accidents can be like, they, they took a, a, a major, like 42 car pile up or whatever. And they trace back all the steps and it all started from the one person was late to work and speeding and then the, the ground slickness from the ice and you know you tabulate all these little things that happened on that particular given day you know and it created this one person created this 42 car pileup and they were able to 
go back and trace back the steps. Like, had this person got up on time for work, this wouldn't have happened, you know? Or if they would have left at this time, it would have happened because the the ice would have melted from the roadway, you know, stuff like that. So, to be honest, it just sounds like there was a lot of effed up stuff that it ultimately didn't work. You got to give credit to Tyson Fury. He came with it. He did what he said he was going to do. So, him being a big man, him having a, having a frame, him being with the Kronk Gym, um, him wanting it, him having the weight advantage, Wilder deciding to come up and weigh more, plus have this heavy suit. You know, it's just, that's too much, too much to overcome. And it showed. So, the third fight, it looks like it's among us. Let me know what you guys think of Mark Breland being fired, uh, the 40 pound plus suit, 45 pound, I've heard, suit. This is interesting. Trilogy coming. I told you. New media. We work it. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego. The future of boxing. Boxing.